Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I wanted to do a super duper last minute Halloween look and um, I know it's really last minute because today's Halloween so happy Halloween but um, I wanted to get something out for you guys because this idea literally came to me this morning when I was rummaging through my daughter's toys and I actually have these Disney Minnie Mouse ears from a few years ago when my husband and I took a trip before baby when we took a trip to Disney World together and he bought me these and I just came across them again this morning and I was like oh my gosh that would be so perfect last minute Halloween and it'll be great we're not doing anything crazy we're kind of just handing out candy and walking around our neighborhood but I'm definitely gonna wear this out because my daughter is dressing up so I kind of wanted to do something hey. you know easy and that was you know quick because I don't know about you but I'm a mom and I'm not trying to do anything elaborate because <laughs> quick and easy is my middle name now so Anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling, but um, if you wanna see how I got this look, it was super easy, it took me like five minutes to do, and it's so versatile. I've seen so many people do so many different things, and you can also do like, I've seen people do like gory Minnie Mouse with like blood and stuff like that. So you can kind of just change it how you wanna change it, but anyways, if you wanna see how I got this Minnie Mouse look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing I did was moisturize my lips and my favorite chapstick right now is this Aquaphor. I think that's how you say it, chapstick. And obviously this isn't a necessity for you to do, but my lips have been so chapped because of this fall weather. So I did that. Now I'm going ahead and priming my face. This isn't a necessity either. I normally don't use primer on a day-to-day -day basis, but since I wanted this to last through the evening, I went ahead and put a primer on just to ensure that this wasn't going to slide anywhere. The next thing I'm doing is taking this Milani palette that I found at the drugstore. So you could probably get this anywhere like CVS, Walmart, and I'm not one to buy expensive palettes. So this one worked just fine. I used one of the lighter shades in the palette and I just put that all over my eyelids because looking at pictures of Minnie Mouse, she has a fairly light eye. Um, so I was not copying that but I wanted to have that as my base and then I went ahead and went in with a brown just to kind of contour my lid so it didn't look just flat so I just went in with a light brown here and then you'll see in a few minutes that I go in with a reddish color and that's this these colors are all from the same palette This palette here that I'm showing you now, I have no idea where I got that. I've had that for so many years, honestly. And like I said, none of my stuff is like expensive. So this palette, again, is probably from, you know, the drugstore or something. And I just used the white on the inner corners of my eyes. And then I'm going in with a liquid eyeliner just to do a wing. And this is the eyeliner I'm also going to use to do the... Um, infamous Minnie Mouse nose. Now I'm going in with mascara here and my favorite is this uh, Voluminous Mascara by L'Oreal and you can use any mascara that you want for this look but this has been my favorite since high school and you can add false lashes or do whatever you want. Um, I don't use false lashes so I just went ahead and just used my mascara. And I always start with the eyes first, so I did my eyes, and now I'm going on to my face. And I'm using the lightest foundation that I own because Minnie Mouse is light, so... And this is optional, you can go in with just your normal foundation, it doesn't have to be your lightest. But that's just what I did for this look, so I went in with my lightest foundation that I own, and it's the Wet n Wild uh, Photo Focus. And then I went in with my Instant Age Rewind Concealer. Uh, it's not too heavy, so it's nice for like an everyday look and it doesn't look cakey. After my 
under eyes are blended out, I just went in with the Ben Nye Cameo Powder. And I use this all over my face. I don't just use it under my eyes because I have like combo skin, so I do get oily. So I use that all over my face. And then this is the part that I was telling you guys about where I go in with that reddish brown shadow just for a little bit more depth. And again, this is optional. You could have just left it with that light brown for the crease, but I went in with the red. And just keep in mind, I am by no means a makeup artist, nor do I claim to be one, so I have literally no idea what I'm doing. Uh, this is just what I chose to do and what I thought looked good for this look. And um, I also went ahead and put that reddish color underneath my uh, waterline as well. And for eyebrows, I use that e.l.f. pencil and I use it in the color taupe to just fill in my brows. I don't do anything crazy with them. And then I decided to contour. I wasn't going to because Minnie Mouse doesn't have a contoured face or anything like that, but I just think chiseled cheeks look better and they give the appearance of a thinner face. So I went in and contoured and then I'm going to just kind of buff all that in so it doesn't look so hard. This next product, the blush that I'm showing, I got that in an Ipsy bag years ago and it is so pigmented that I never, ever, ever, ever use it. And when I thought of doing this look this morning, I was like, oh my gosh, that blush is perfect. It's like really pinkish, reddish. So I'm just kind of building up the cheeks here now to, you know, go as heavy as you want. So I'm going light handed just to keep adding if I need it. And then I added that color on the tip of my nose as well. And then I decided to go in with a highlighter. And I just highlight the areas as usual, your cheekbones. And then I did on the tip of my nose and the bridge of my nose. Then I'm going in with that same liquid eyeliner pencil that I had used previously for my eyelids and I used it to fill in the tip of my nose for the Minnie Mouse nose. And it was super easy and you could probably use whatever you wanted but I just figured that that would be the easiest thing. I know that they have face paint and whatnot but I didn't have any face paint for this look because it was so last minute. And then I went in with just a red lip and you can use any red lipstick that you want. It can be deep, it can be light, it can be whatever. This is just what I chose and I ended up layering two different lipsticks. And yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this look. It's super easy and quick for Halloween and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.